Good morning and welcome to ATS. Asian Theological Seminary uh, has been in existence for 47 years now. And we're, we're here to participate in God's work of transforming leaders for the church and uh, society throughout the world. Of course, God, through the Holy Spirit, is the source of transformation, and we merely participate in the work of transformation that God is doing in the church and in the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have uh, been servicing about 140 denominations. Um, so this is a multi-denominational uh, seminary. And we have been uh, blessed that truly uh, the Lord has been using the seminary in terms of training uh, the top four, at least in our list of uh, the ones we trained here in seminary are pastoral workers, um, school leaders, and teachers. Those who are in leadership in terms of nonprofit organizations and uh, community uh, development, but also counselors, uh, thought leaders, and um, researchers. We, we have also uh, graduates who work in Bible translation. So we are uh, grateful that you're here, and we take it that this is a sign that you are also here to participate in God's work of transformation. Um, we are so grateful that uh, we could learn from one of the giants in the field of steward leadership. Um, it's not that uh, Dr. Scott Rudin is a celebrity in the field of leadership. Rather, um, he exemplifies in a refreshing way the kind of spiritual leadership that distinguishes uh, Christian leadership from a host of other uh, books on, on leadership. And we'll hear more about Dr. Rudin from Dr. Sennett when she introduces uh, our speaker. But I have benefited a lot from um, reading uh, the book with a similar title, Steward Leadership. And uh, so many precious gems of uh, insights that I learned from um, the book. So we're grateful that Dr. Scott is, is with us. A previous uh, term, which we continue to uh, actually continue to adopt the term in terms of leadership here in seminary is servant leadership. But Dr. Scott has some wise words to say uh, in terms of the kind of distinction between uh, steward leadership and servant leadership, especially in relation to the issue of uh, power. I know that when he last visited the seminary and spoke about this topic, I received a lot of great feedback and, and deep appreciation for what he shared. So we're all in for a treat today and for those who are taking the module up until Friday. So we are so grateful for Dr. Zenit for facilitating this invite through our Strategic Leader Development Center and through our Christian MBA uh, program. By the way, we have started piloting um, two on, fully online programs, Graduate Diploma in Christian Education and also the EMBA, of which Dr. Rodin is part of uh, the faculty. So welcome again to ATS and particularly for uh, this, this seminar, and we hope that you would continue on for those who are still uh, you know, hesitant, we'll continue on till Friday for the module, and I pray that we'll become the steward leaders that God intends for us to be. God bless us all.